What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about some more new releases from Essence and doing a first impressions as well as a wear test. Lately Essence has been releasing a bunch of new products and I don't think they're actually new in the traditional sense of the word. I think they're being repurposed. Essence Cosmetics operates in a couple of different areas, obviously in Canada and the US, but I know they also have a strong operation out of Europe, and they do also customize their products based on the regions that they're in. And I think a lot of the new releases that have been coming out lately have actually been coming over from Europe and the UK. So they're not technically new releases because they've been out for a while, but they're new to the audience that they're being brought to. So if you're interested in seeing what's new and exciting from Essence make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos as you can see I have a bare face I don't have anything on except my eye cream as well as my moisturizer because I'm going to be diving into a few different products so I'm actually going to be starting with this new primer here from Essence that's called the fresh and fit awake primer healthy grow healthy grow what the hell am I trying to grow my face? Healthy glow pore minimizing effect with vitamin complex and cranberry water. I'm not exactly sure the benefits of cranberry water, but we're gonna roll with it. I also got a color correcting concealer in the color green, and this is for anti redness. I love that it just says it right on the cap here for you. They do have a yellow one, a pink one, so whatever types of color correctors you need, you can find them through Essence, and these are actually really, really affordable. I believe they were either $3.99 or $4.99 each. I also picked up their Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. Sadly, this only comes in two shades, and I don't think I was even able to find a really good shade for myself. Um, both are extremely fair and light colors. Not crazy excited about that. I think that's my biggest problem with this entire range, is that there is no range. I'm also going to be testing out these two new foundations right here. This is the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. Up. So it's healthy glow, again, with some sort of vitamin complex and cranberry water. There are a total of four shades, which is incredibly disappointing. And all of the shades are very, very fair or light toned. And honestly, again, I couldn't even come up with my own shade. So I picked up two of them in hopes that I can mix them together and create my own shade. It's really sad to see that Essence hasn't actually come out with a wider range, especially with all of the brands that are now pushing out a great range of colors everything from super fair to super deep and dark really disappointing in that capacity I also got this new color correcting mattifying powder which I'm really excited to try as well as their strobing and contouring palette which I've never seen before and I'm really really excited to test this out so that's a quick glimpse at all of the items that I will be trying on today just to give you a bit of a heads up and now we're just going to throw everything onto my face. Let First I'm going to go in with this primer right here and I'm actually a little bit nervous because I don't normally use glowy sort of primers um, mostly because I do have oily skin and I don't typically like anything that highlights any of my oils and my pores and my texture. I also tend to prefer more mattifying primers so not sure how this is going to work throughout the day. It is blending out nicely. It smells very fresh. It's not obnoxious, thank goodness. Now I'm gonna go in with my color corrector and I'm just gonna put this just on my cheeks over here. I'm just gonna take a little bit, not too much, because I also don't know how pigmented this is gonna be. I feel like this didn't really have that much pigment to it, but it does seem to have calmed down some of my redness. I wouldn't say drastically, but Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this foundation. Like I said, I did have to purchase two so I can mix them together to create my own color. Um, I got number 10 Fresh Ivory and number 30 Fresh Honey. Both of these seem to have more of a neutral undertone to them. The one that was in the middle actually had a very pink undertone and I know that's not gonna look good on me. So, I'm gonna take, I like that it's a pump. A pump onto the back of my hand of each. 
I'm just going to mix it with the bottom of my Beauty Blender, nothing crazy. And there's the foundation all over my face. I actually think it looks pretty decent, blended out really nicely. It almost had a bit of a cooling effect as I was applying it, which I rather enjoyed. It's definitely left more of a satin to natural finish. I wouldn't say this is medium or full by any means. All it seems to have done is evened out my complexion a little bit, but I do see a lot of redness peeking through. So that's where I'm hoping that full coverage concealer is really going to jump in and save the day. Taking the concealer, I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. I did pick up the shade Ivory, which is pretty light. And there was also a light color, which was just a tad darker than this, but both of the tubes were used, so I didn't want to pick up those. Um, otherwise, I think the light might have been a better fit. And here is the concealer all blended out, and I do think it blended out really, really nicely. It didn't dry down too fast, so I didn't have any difficulties working with both sides of my face. Um, but I wouldn't say it is full coverage. I feel like I still have some redness peeking through, so I'd probably say this is more of a medium to perhaps buildable full coverage. Um, I'm actually going to try to build it up just a little bit without making it look cakey because that's always my big concern with concealer. I never want anything to look cakey on my face. From what I can tell, it's not super buildable. Again, I still see redness peeking through, so I'm going to stick with this being a medium coverage concealer, but it doesn't look awful on my skin. I am going to set this really quickly because I don't want anything to crease. I'm going to go in with my color correcting powder. I'm going to take some of that powder. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of kick up there. And just pat this underneath my eyes. I'm also quickly going to set the bridge of my nose and a little bit further down because this is the area for me that always seems to crease and fade, especially since I wear my glasses throughout the day. And then I'm just gonna get into my smile lines here. And there we have it. I think the powder went down really, really nicely. It feels very smooth on my skin. Um, as for its color correcting abilities, I'm not seeing a huge difference, but I'm also not mad at it. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section though if you guys do see a difference now that the powder is on. Now I'm gonna dive into this contour palette right here and I'm gonna do a little bit of mild contouring. And I'm not really sure what color I'm gonna go in with. These all seem to be a little more on the warm side and I tend to prefer a bit of a ashier contour so it gives me more of a shadow. Um, so I think this is the ashiest color. <laughs> so I'm going to try going into this and I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of this middle color right here. So this one and this one, just so I can get more of a lighter tone to the ash. And I'm going to blend that out with one of the cleaner sides of my beauty blender. I'm going to do that right away because I don't know how fast this is going to dry down. I think it blended out really well, although it does look a little more on the warm side than the ashier side. For some reason, I feel like it applied better on this side than it did on this side. So I'm just gonna go back in with the ashy tone and just re-emphasize this side a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. I'm definitely not a fan of cream contours. I certainly prefer powder ones for the most part. I just think they're easier to work with. I also feel like they blend out a little bit better, but that's just me. I know a lot of people who are big fans of cream contouring. Somehow I feel like I managed to screw up my chin contour down here. It definitely <laughs> looks more orange and I don't know, Oompa Loompa-like. So I'm gonna fix that up a little bit with some loose setting powder here. I'm just going to take my RCMA no color powder. So while I let that beard bake for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I don't have anything from Essence to, to work with for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to go in with my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Product. I absolutely love this stuff. Brows are now on and I'm going to dust off this powder and that definitely has helped. Thank 
God. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face now and I will be right back. The rest of my face is now on and I do like how the products all played together with one another. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer so you guys can see some of the problem areas that I'm noticing right off the bat. As you can see, it's sitting well everywhere on my face. Everything seems to look okay, but when you look at my nose, my nose feels very patchy. It looks like the foundation is just sitting on top of it. It hasn't really gone into my pores and absorbed nicely. Even on the sides of my nose, you guys can see how the foundation is separating. It's not sitting well in there, um, in all of these crevices, I should say. Um, I can see it settling into the fine lines around my mouth as well as on my forehead a little bit. But I'm hoping that once my natural oils kind of mix in with this foundation, things are gonna calm down a little bit, maybe look a little bit better. Um, but overall, I'm not mad at this foundation. It's still, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day now, do one final check-in at the end of of the video for you and give you my thoughts on how all of these products work. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. And here we are with the first and final check-in of the day. I've had this foundation on as well as all of these other Essence products for I'd say the better part of eight hours. Here we are nice and close. Do you guys see what's happening on my nose? It looks so patchy. There's a bunch of redness that's peeking through. It's not really sitting well in the crevices of my nose. It's pretty much all disappeared. Um, it hasn't lasted at all where my glasses pads normally sit. I'm seeing a lot of redness peek through on my cheek areas. Foundation is sitting nicely on my forehead as far as I can tell. It's sitting well, I think, on my cheeks. The key areas where I actually need the foundation to work it's not working and it's funny because this is also the area where I put on that full coverage concealer which is not actually full coverage. I feel like that ended up melting away really, really quickly. It didn't really have much staying power. As for the primer, I'm gonna say it's just eh. I mean, I like the way it's left my skin looking nice and dewy. That's a big thing for me. Um, it just looks healthy and hydrated, but not too much of a greasy mess. Um, but in terms of filling up my pores and giving me a smooth canvas to work with, I'd say it was kind of subpar on that level. The color corrector that I used was just okay as well. I mean, for this much redness to be peeking through, clearly that corrector did nothing. Wet n Wild actually has a green cushion corrector that has so much more pigment and actually works a lot better than this Essence one. So I would spend an extra couple of bucks and get the one from Wet n Wild instead. In terms of this cream contouring palette, I didn't mind it. I didn't think it was so bad. Um, my contour is still going pretty strong, as you guys can hopefully see, and it does have pretty decent staying power. Sadly, I didn't use any of the colors in the top row. They do have some nice shimmery highlighters, which may or may not work well. I don't know, let's see. We'll Taking one over here, back of my hand, you can barely see it, so <laughs> don't know about that one. I think if you're in a pinch, this powder is okay. Um, what I actually want to do is blend out a little bit of the mess that's on my face right now. And then I'm gonna go in with that powder to see if it'll help tone down some of that redness. So let me just pounce a little bit of the foundation around on my nose. Let's see if we can salvage some of this makeup. I think that's evened out some of the foundation, but as you can see, I look like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer with just a big red nose right now. Taking this powder, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush here. Really dig in there, make sure we get lots of product. And then tap it on. I don't know if that powder really did much. Um, it did tone down some of the redness, I'll be honest there. But then I'm noticing on my cheek area over here, and hopefully you guys can see this, it's just sitting on top of my skin, actually looking 
really, really gross. <laughs> um, it looks very scaly from where I'm sitting and really looking at my face up close in this little mirror here. I'd say if you're in a pinch, this is okay for setting some of your makeup. I wouldn't use it for touch-ups though, at least not on very oily and textured skin. Overall, I thought the products were just Eh, I definitely prefer all of the eye makeup that I tried out in my previous New Essence Cosmetics makeup video. Um, I even love their lip products. I thought those were a lot better. What I'm looking at right now is just okay. I mean, if you really want to test it out, I'd say maybe grab the primer and grab the foundation if you have a shade that matches you. Otherwise, I don't think these items are really worth it. I would pick up this contouring palette though if you are looking for a cream contour that's super affordable. I think you'll definitely get good value and good use out of this, but everything else, I would pass. All right, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. You can also connect with me on all of my social media. I'm gonna link everything for you in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching and for listening to me babble as long as I did. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.